Hello everyone, it's Mike Levin from MikeLevinSEO.com and I'm going to start with an extremely short but important Python tutorial in which you go into a terminal window if you're on a Macintosh and you type Python. Yes, Python comes pre-installed on Macs as it does with Linux machines, most Linux installations these days, so the same would work and you can see what version you're in and if you're in to point anything, you can do your print hello world. And there's hello world. If you were on three point anything, it would have been almost the same, but you would have had to have put it in function parentheses. And we can see it works the same way in uh, 2.7. So if you're using uh, the print statement a lot, do yourself a favor and start putting the parentheses around it so when you eventually move to three, that's one less thing that needs to be converted uh, code-wise. So anyway, um, what I really want to show you is how you can import things. Uh, if you're using this library or that that's not loaded into memory in the uh, Python interpreter right away until it's needed. That way it has less overhead, takes up less memory, and only uses what it needs. And that's always good. But to understand Pythonic thinking, import this. And you can do the dramatic reading in whatever celebrity voice you wish. If I could do uh, William Shatner, I think that would be my choice, but I can't do impressions. So, The Zen of Python by Tim Peters. Beautiful is better than ugly. Explicit is better than implicit. Simple is better than complex. Complex is better than complicated. Flat is better than nested. Sparse is better than dense. Readability counts. Special cases aren't special enough to break the rules. Although practicality beats purity, errors should never pass silently unless explicitly silenced. In the face of ambiguity, refuse the temptation to guess. There should be one, and preferably only one, obvious way to do it. Although that way may not be obvious at first unless you're Dutch. Now is better than never. Although never is often better than right now. If the implementation is hard to explain, it's a bad idea. If the implementation, if the implementation is easy to explain, it may be a good idea. Namespaces are one honking great idea. Let's do more of those. And then to get out of the command environment, we can do exit, but you have to put parentheses, open, close, because if you just did exit, it would tell you to use exit. But if it, if you knew to, if it knew that that's what you were trying to do, why didn't it just add them and take what you gave it? Well, I guess that would come down to um, practicality beats purity. No, they seem to be in violation of that one. Thanks for joining me, and feel free to share this nonsense. If you like it, I can do my rendition of The Walrus and the Carpenter. And um, don't forget to subscribe.